Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning into the Boxing Authority. Joining me at the desk, as always, Mr. Luther Dupree Jr., Mr. Smoking Jim Frazier, and my name is Claudio Relsano. Arthur better be of. He did it. He walked through somebody who we knew he was going to win, but I don't think we expect him to walk through that early. Your thoughts on the fight, Luth? Listen, this is why I have him uh, as my top in my top ten pound for pound power in both hands. Jim doesn't like him because of speed. I don't care about his speed, his power. He had Joe Smith hurt the very first round. Put him down four times. The punch placement was amazing. The power once again was was amazing. Listen. I don't know who beats this guy at 175. Look at it, just hit him on the top of the head. Mm. Joe was defensively irresponsible. Um, I said he had to come in there and fight, but you got to put your hands up. You just can't <laughs> take clean punches left and right. It's over. Four times he was put down in the second round. I'm glad Canelo didn't uh, face this guy. He really would have got hurt. This guy is a monster. I'd like to see him and Bivol, but uh, he's definitely pound for pound. Great phrase that you just said, punch placement. Woo. Okay. Um, you know, as always, I, I write a bunch of things down during the fight that I notice. One of the things I wrote, he's serious. He's business. He goes in. He does not waste punches. Okay. He's accurate, as you said, punch placement. Different punches. He, and, he, and he was like a tank. He walked straight through. He remi- I'm not saying he's as big or as exciting of a puncher or fighter as Tyson. But he remind. I'm not saying that. But he reminded me of Tyson. He went in. I'm not going to play games with this guy. Okay, Tommy Morrison, something I did not like about him, Jim. I know you're a huge fan of Tommy Morrison. I didn't like his game plan whenever he would say, we are going to go in there and do X, Y, and Z and take him deep. In the- no, go in there and knock the guy out. Don't play games because boxing, I don't care who you are, you can get caught with a shot. Better be if do not waste time. He went in there, got the job done, got the hell. He got in, got out. And, and, and I thought about you because you always talk about slow, slow, slow. He was short, quick. Now, if you compare him to Sugar Ray Leonard, quick. No, I thought short. he was better. He was short. I mean, it was no, if you compare him to Sugar Ray you Leonard, you can't ever say quick and better. Better be ever the no. same sentence. But the placement sometimes it's not even about speed. If you see an opening and you're able to take advantage but he hit, of but it, but that is quick. Yeah. He was able to pull the trigger. It was powerful. I'm not. I'm okay. not going to say. I I had him. like I said when you compare him to Sugar Ray Leonard. No, he ain't quick. But overall, I thought this was slow his hands were better. I didn't think he was slow. I, I don't think I that you can watch it. I call it. him SAP, slow and powerful. It, it's effective for him. Though. Yeah, but I don't. For me, I don't think you can watch that fight and say he was slow. I like everything he did. All right, we're gonna bypass you. All right, so Luther, go ahead, Jim. Just teasing. your thoughts on the fight. Well, I gotta take a little issue with Luther. Um, I never said I didn't like him. I just said he was slow. But I got newfound. Our respect for this guy after really watching him really you for the first time. Very, before. very first time. <laughs> I mean, I watched him on clips, but this I never thought I'd see a more powerful um, light heavyweight than uh, Bob Foster. Uh, Bob Foster mm. was six foot three. Most of his losses was only about to heavyweights That's like right. Doug Jones, six foot six, Ernie Terrell, Z- Zora Foley, Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali. I haven't seen the density and muscle tone since 1974 when Walter Payton uh, came out of Jackson State. They both had hair on their chest. But this guy, <laughs> What's I, the tell hair what, on the chest? I tell you what, he, he is so classy because you don't have to talk trash. Right. You know what I mean? After the fight, they wanted him to talk trash. He wasn't calling out Charlos and calling them all kind of names. You know what I mean? He wasn't, you know, you know, calling out this guy, cussing at this guy, <laughs> doing this. They asked him. He wasn't saying that the uh, the, the uh, uniform was too heavy or somebody uh, was in water. Listen, after the fight, yeah, we don't have to do, after you the go. fight, he showed so much class. Yeah. They said, "Who do you want to fight?" He said, "I would like to unify yeah. the title." And I thought that was so classy. I do not see as great as Canelo is. I no would chance. Oh, wait no a minute, chance. wait a minute. I would advise him not to fight. Duck. He, there you go, finally. He's too powerful at 175. Yes. Canelo, you know, he moved up. This is a guy, when he hit, when he hit Joe Smith yeah. um, on top of the head in the first round, you could hear the thump yeah. on the side <laughs> of the head. I said, man, this fight is over. This guy is so powerful and everything he hits he destroys so I really like this I really like 
I don't know how long he can stay at once. You know, the amateur, he fought a lot of heavy. He fought heavyweight a lot of times. Good so I don't know how long he can stay at one seventy five. with a body shot. Would you? I, I would not move up. Yeah. Huh? I wouldn't. I, just, I if, would like if, if dominate he can. the he's an older if Bridger he can. to Bridger, and no, that's I it. Said, well, I'm saying we're well, cruisers before. I mean, I'm sorry, you're right. But I'm just saying, yeah, I, I would try to. I, I would love for him to be able to be able to stay at 175 with you're that right, amount of muscle, because he has no fat on him. No. I mean, he got muscle after muscle. Jim, and to your point can, about being classy, it's about said, time that you. I've been telling you this since <laughs> yeah. we started this. You finally watched him, and you finally woke up. I'm yeah, proud of you. Yeah. But the one thing you, you said about being classy, <laughs> he said, you know, I did good, you know, but I can do better. I, I liked hearing that. That's another thing that I yeah, observed. But also, and also, Joe Smith I, is I just like, a, I like a everybody, ballroom fighter. I like I mean, every. Yeah, I like my guys. Really I like my guys that can't talk good English and got green teeth. That's when you know. They serious about the fight game. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, but listen, I thought he Joe threw Smith, his mouthpiece. In. As I told you guys, Joe, you you thought Joe Smith could. I, I didn't think so. I think Joe Smith. No, I didn't see it at all. Never Joe, liked, right. I, I never because I, I I saw Joe Smith enough to know that he's just a barroom fighter. Doesn't have a lot of skills. He gives everything. Right. You That's know, what made his it, claim to fame was still knocking Bernard Hopkins, 50 year old, out of the ring. Yes, he did. Knocked him out bad. But he, he was older. But that's all he is. You know, he doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. This guy, King Arthur, is is the real deal. Let you me know, ask you this: Are you more impressed them. with better be a fighting Joe Smith than the Canelo path? I would have loved to see Canelo go up there. And no, but, get but I'm saying, I'm saying, are, are, were you okay with him fighting Joe Smith? No, oh, I mean he had to. I mean Joe Smith. I mean, had you could have said that a lot of the people Canelo fight. No, no. What I'm saying. Joe Smith had the belt. He unified. Okay. Now I'd like to see him and Bivol. I think that's that's a good fight because Bivol has boxing skills. That's how you're going to beat uh, King Arthur. You can't go in there go toe to toe. Yeah. You have to box. Well, he'll and that's, probably that's fight the thing. twice. I, I, I would imagine he fight at least once or twice before he, again before he fights Bivol. You think? Because Bill was under contract to fight Canelo. No, he's no, fighting, Canelo's fighting Canelo's Triple G. Fighting triple G. And afterwards, he's fighting. Listen, they had here a is our vacation. They had a rematch clause. Yeah, and now, Canelo did, and Canelo didn't activate well, it because he got you, his butt kicked. Who kick. would you rather fight? Would you? There's no money in fighting and unifying that 175. Jim, but there's a lot of Jim, money in fighting. Canelo's Canelo going to rematch. continue ducking Bivol. He doesn't want that work again. I don't know. Just about like that. he didn't fight Lore again. Just like he didn't fight Floyd again. He's not going. He's making for big that. money without taking the yeah. big risk. He can fight an old forty-year-old right. Triple G and make the but same amount of money. But you still think Canelo? Not to get off a of better BF, but do you think Canelo is going to make the huge money against Triple G? Yeah, yeah he's making. Now? It's already okay. said. Yeah, All he's right. making forty. It'd be a nice payday. You know, for Triple G. Some guys yeah. a loss doesn't affect them. Some guys take a loss and they take a big hit. Canelo, because he bulletproof. Put the work in. He put the if work you in. had, let me ask you this: with better BF, if he, what, what number was he one to ten before this fight? I had him in my top ten. I had well, him like eight or nine. I right still around I, with Josh Taylor, right? Where you <coughs> Josh Taylor? No, Josh Taylor. Well, last time I did it, Josh Taylor was out of my top. When's 10. the last time you did it? Because I missed. I that do. One. I, I do a <laughs> monthly. Unlike oh, you guys, oh, he improved. Monthly. He improved a lot in your eyes. <laughs> Who? He wasn't even yeah, on his. Is he in your yeah. pound for pound now? Finally. Yeah, he's in the one thing I'm gonna disagree with both of you. You guys Again, keep waking up. I keep telling you guys. Now, you keep power on board. Power is speed. Okay, or speed is power. You know, he's not like, again, maybe we joke, but it isn't like he's going like that. He's got a little Jim, pop. Jim calls everybody slow. I mean, he's right. called at least no, 10 fighters uh, slow. No, I don't. Better beat You yeah. call him slow a beat yeah. which is completely I, I see, wrong. I see the, you one, call, I see you the, the 168. I see the 168 guy that's sometimes on drugs and most times overweight. Who's that? Ain't, who's the 168 guy that's slow? I don't know who you're talking about. So, I know the king who, who, at 168 who, who, is Ke David Benavitez. Yeah, him. I figured you, you can't knew say who his I was name about. either. I see he ain't, even though he can't make 168 most of the time. I see he ain't trying to go up to 175. Well, he still has he work will. to do 168. He's trying to become no, no, undisputed no, 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 down no. there. He's calling but, out no. Charlo. Calling him every, he, no, every he's name. He's calling in the out book. everybody. He's calling he out call Canelo. Out he's not in that division. Right. He, he lost his title because he couldn't make 168. What's the next weight after 168? That was one time, Jim. I'm just asking why is that he, was one why time ain't he at the calling beginning of the out pandemic. 175? Because he's not there. I think oh, once again, excuses. once again, you got to find a way win? to slam Who would win? I'm going, I don't know. I, I say Who David Benavitez. I'm going with Benavitez because I've. 
I think Which he can one do is more. Benavitez? David Which one? Benavitez David is the one Benavitez. at 168. You think he can beat this guy at 175? I think he can. I think he, can. He, he must be he, smoking the same thing he's well, smoking. Well, just because he said he could doesn't mean he, the, Luther thinks you will. Who do you think will win at 175? If I was betting right now. we got to see him at 175. I got, I, we got to see him. we got to see if his chin goes up and, we and if his power goes up. His power but may right increase. Now, right now, it, uh, with the, I, I would say better be if. Thank you. 17 wins, 17 knockouts. Hey, and the thing is, and whose again, record is better, man, or yours? <laughs> I think and the thing about, I think no, we're but we no, you're nowhere near me. You're we nowhere be, near me. And <laughs> would we be here well be praising better be of if it was a unanimous decision? No. Or if it was a rock and sock and do, No. He demolished him in two in a couple rounds. He finished him off. So I don't know right now, as much as we like Benavidez, or I'll speak for myself, I like Benavidez. I don't know who can beat him right now at 175, which is my next question. I know who ain't calling him out. I know I, I can see well, you who, were gonna say whose, something. I'm sorry. whose name ain't in no, his no. mouth. Now, as, as how as I speak on Arthur Better, uh, Better BF, he has been down before as a pro. Really? So he's not unbeatable. No. I think a boxer or somebody who could down. move. I even think Brown gave him some difficulty at the beginning when he was moving, but he couldn't <clears> stand up. So Bivol, I think, is a challenge for him. I think a guy like David Benavitez would be a problem I wouldn't for be him. A cake I think a not. David Morrell with some experience could be a problem Thank for you. him. Guys who could move He's and not around. just going to sit, you know, in front of him. But right now, 175 is not that deep. He's destroying all these guys, but he's not unbeatable. Luther's he's not coming unbeatable. around to the experience level. Mm. Uh, See how he slipped that in? He won't admit it, but he let that, what do you call it, a Freudian slip. Uh, let me ask you kinda, this. Kind of looks unbeatable to me. He you you, you talk about Bivol. Like, who's, on his, who's on his resume that, that says he's right. unbeatable? He's beat a lot of B and C class guys. 175 isn't really deep. You, you agree with look, that? He kind of looks unbeatable. No, no, I'm saying it's <laughs> 175. Saying. But he's dominating he's, these guys. He's, uh, yeah, he's dominating right. these he's guys. He's kind of looking un unbeatable. Yeah, but who is he beating? Those aren't the top guys. But if he none had a are, tough time with them. None of those guys, other than some people put Bivol in there now because he, he dominated Canelo. Nobody in that, nobody but on his resume If he, he struggled with those guys, okay, but he's been dominating. So, but let me ask you this now. If you were a betting man, which... You've said that you were a few times. I'm better than Jim, I think. Uh, I don't know. He's uh oh. Oh, he's gonna pull out them ones. Don't do it, Jim. Bivol, better BF. Who would you bet on right now? Right now, I've seen uh, better BF a little more. I think the power would eventually get to Bivol, but he'd struggle because Bivol is a great boxer. Yeah. He can move, has a great jab, and he gets his head off the line, so he wouldn't Good be point. a sitting duck. Good point. So I think later on, I think uh, King Arthur would get him. But it'd be a tough fight. Jim. What was the question? Better Biev or <laughs> CTE is getting Biv better. <laughs> or Bivol. Who would you bet yeah, on? It's going to be tough because um, right now, if they fight right now, it'd be better Biev. Um, but when they fight, I don't know if they'll ever fight because I don't think Bivol will have the title. I think he'll lose to Canelo. And I don't think Canelo uh, should fight. Uh, what, what is this? Should, what is this should fight? What are you talking? What do you mean he shouldn't fight? I don't, I don't think he, he should fight. I don't think a guy should have to go from featherweight to cruiserweight. Now, Jim, what, are you, what, <laughs> I mean, what does that so mean? I mean? If you beat this Bivol, get a title. Why shouldn't he fight? Because Better this be is it. a heavyweight. Really, this is a heavyweight. He fought okay, amateurs. but he's fighting one seventy five. He he's fighting what one seventy five. If you make the weight, that's what amateur, you are. So um, I would. I don't think. I don't think. I think if he fought Bivol, he would beat Bivol right now, but I don't think they'll ever fight because Bivol ain't going to have the title. If they fight, Luther, something you brought up, you, you mentioned was a good point. Jim, you're what, all over what, what Bivol could do. I, I'm lost what, what you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, he at least didn't bring up Jersey Joe right, Walcott. Right. <laughs> okay, now, if Bivol fights, better BF. Okay. Do you th and you said what he had to do, the game plan to Fantasy give better fights. BF some trouble. What's that? Fantasy fights. <laughs> Things yeah, that will yeah. never happen. Would you think Bivol would have the discipline to stick to that game plan? Like Sugar Ray didn't have the discipline, Duran Leonard won. Duran Leonard, too, he did what he did. He had the discipline to, 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 to make him look I bad. I think he does. We saw it against the Canelo fight. I mean, he had he the jab out Good there. He didn't again. change. Right. He didn't bang with him. He right. just Excellent embarrassed point. Canelo from the first round to the 12th round. Excellent I point. think he would be disciplined against better BF, but... 
Those even body though he shots lost, would add Even up. though he lost the first four rounds. He didn't According lose. to the, no, all the, the ju judges who were getting paid to judge. Yeah. yeah and, but that anybody, was, anybody who saw that fight knows Canelo did not, not win all four of those rounds. Not somebody snacking on wings and, and hot sauce <laughs> watching the fight with one eye open, one yeah, eye closed. Yeah, those guys had money. Drinking a shorty they, 40. Those guys had money to give him four <laughs> rounds. Come on. That was ridiculous. There's no way he won four of those rounds. And, and, and finally for this uh, topic – we, we touched on it because he has to bring, I guess, like, I have to bring, I have to bring Canelo Rock, and everything. He's got to Canelo. <laughs> Does he beat Better Be of, Give him a hard time? What would you, what would you Canelo, say? Describe the fight. Canelo the fight. couldn't last four rounds with Better Be of. I think he tried to go because he doesn't move. He would That's destroy. Four rounds. Wow. Better be, better be Eve would destroy That's Canelo. He's the type of guy that he would like to fight because he doesn't move. He's going to stand Excellent. right there Very and get a power puncher. No. Very you say four. Canelo better stay. I Canelo say better, better stay be Eve eight-ish because Canelo doesn't have the ability to he, dance, he, to move. Right. He doesn't, and, and Canelo has a great jaw, but that jaw would get tested against yeah. this guy. Yeah, and, and I don't think he, he doesn't have the ability, like a, again, back to Sheree, right. to move. Right. Red well, Floyd, slam, Floyd right. Could, right. could move. And he's not active enough. If you're going to sit there and not enough. throw a lot of punch and right. try to pot shot, no. Better be if is going to take you out. Now Canelo you, better avoid. Red his slam. Right. Now you said, and you love Canelo, you said flat out that you wouldn't have Canelo fight him. I think Canelo could beat the 168 guy that you guys seem to like. We're not talking. Well, see if he remembers his name. Who was his name? I don't know. He said oh, man, he scared me, Luth. All right. We got to work. Canella could be, <laughs> Canella could beat him, but I would if, if I would advise Canella not to fight. Better be it. Why? Well, one, Canelo's a little guy. Oh, he shouldn't have to go up the He's fighting pounds. at 175. You fight well, anybody in there, not because the guy's taller he's, than he's you. He's going to fight Bevel and then, <laughs> then uh, he's not fighting the, 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 the vacate the belt. Okay. Um, you don't, it, this is not a good matchup. It, we always that's talk about matchups. It's not point. a good matchup and for Canelo. And that's why boxing. Yeah, why it's is not it a good matchup. Why? You, want the guy, you want a guy to go from featherweight to the fighting Tyson Fury? If you're fighting, oh, yeah. That's if you're what's fighting wrong with boxing. If you're fighting that's what's wrong with boxing. you fight the best. And that's the problem <laughs> Fulton, I have with Canelo. Fulton, He's not giving us the best fights. If you say you're the best, Luther, then fight the best. Exactly. Don't just and Canelo's not it. giving us. And you're Jeff fighting triple Devin, Devin, And David. Devin Haney won't fight you sick. That's what's wrong with boxing. No, no, no. no, no. Well, Luther, that's if, you say, if you say if you say you're the best, then you fight, fight the best. He, he's a little what, guy. What, 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 what Ric Flair used to say: "To be the, the man, best, you have to be the, the man." man. Exactly. He, he is the man. The man. No, well, how the hell is he fighting all these other guys? Bank account, if he women, if he, no, no, if he fights, he fights Bibble. He fought everybody. Fight 175. Who he fight 175? Who he fight 175? To beat a man, you got to beat the man. Let me know who. No, that's different. Did he fight anybody at 175? Different ball game. Did he fight anybody at 168? Why should he? You start moving. You start moving. You just start moving. Oh, I'm This country don't like red heads. This country don't like red heads. Anytime we start talking about Canelo. Hello, you start throwing Redheads. stuff all over the place. Yeah. Because just take your L and stay with it, Jim. I, I just just I like Canelo took that L against Bivol. I see if me and Luther, gonna if, I'm going to tell you something. Night. I'll speak for Luther here. If Canelo beats Bivol and he beats Benavidez He's, and he beats Better BF, we'll sit here and tell you, you know what? We were wrong. He could beat, he could he beat, beat none of those guys, I don't think. He can beat the 168 guys. Benavidez. Say his Whatever name. His name David now. Benavidez. Will you do that? Will you, you do that? Name. We'll say he's the best ever if he beats those yeah, three guys. Yeah, if he guys. does that. If but, he does it. Wait a minute. He's, he's not, not fighting the best competition. That is the problem I have with Canelo. 18 world champions. So you're wrong uh, again. Look, no, Take no your disrespect L. to Joe Smith. Take your L. No disrespect to Joe Smith if at all. Everybody got a belt at this a world point. Champion. They just oh, said belt. Everybody no, you didn't right? say that with Floyd. Luther, yeah. am I right or wrong? There's champions. Joe Smith, all respect in the world term. And then there's champions. Am right. I right or wrong? I say there's champions and there's belt holders. I okay. think Joe Smith okay, was take, a belt yeah, holder. Right. Okay. You know, not a champion. Right. David oh, Benavitez right. was a champion. It's Jamal a Charlo, a we, we got more L's for him Boo -boo this show and Andrade the next show. It's a champion. But when we come back, yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. and Better Beef is a champ. I oh, want him question. to fight those guys. Yes. Well, when we come back, our oh, new yes. segment, Boxing Authority News. When we come back to the Boxing Authorities. Welcome back to the Boxing Authorities. Our new segment, which I got from him, we have a show that he hosts, great show, the uh, Steel City Sports World. He starts off with Steel City News. So we're going to borrow from that and have the Boxing Authority News. Anthony Joshua, 
Alexander Usyk will be fighting August 20th uh, in Saudi Arabia, which I think is the second time for Ooh, Anthony Joshua. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, your right. thoughts on the fight? I mean, we're going to obviously get more to it when we come to it, but uh, your thoughts on it? You know, I know AJ just signed this big deal with, with the zone, <clears throat> but I'm worried about this fight. If you look at the press conference, AJ didn't look confident. He looked passive. Um, I don't know. He, he has a new trainer, Robert Garcia. He says he's made the necess necessary <clears throat> changes, but we'll see. I don't think he does. I think Usyk gets him again. He has to change his whole game plan. He has to be the big guy. He has to fight like Fury, dirty Fury, <laughs> grabbing him, elbows, pushing him. You can't outbox a master boxer. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, and that's what he tried to do the first fight. You know, he's sitting there on his back foot, throwing his jab. He's not a boxer. You, I need the AJ that fought the Klitschko. That guy yeah. was in his face. He went yep. down, showed heart. Exactly. And it just seems like, you know, AJ, he's made a lot of money. I'm not sure he wants it anymore. So you're more worried about him, mentally. worried, concerned mentally than Mentally. Physically. So you have nothing against stuff. him physically. No, no. Physically, I think he'd be able to do it. I think mentally, I don't think he wants to, to go through it. You know, uh, when I saw him stop against Andy Ruiz, I lost, I lost a lot of confidence in him. And I think he lost a lot of confidence in himself. And then in a rematch, he was on the back foot. And that was his thing. He's just going to get on his back foot. And that's not going to work against Usyk. I think Usyk gets him again. And what am I going to say? What, what, what's the text you sent me after he lost? Oh, yeah. I've never seen, well, I've never seen a guy so happy yeah. to lose. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, when you're giving a guy to hold your belts before the fight, smiling. And this fight, he's sitting there taking selfies with Usyk again. I don't think Tyson did that, did he? No. 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 <laughs> he's talking about eating your Completely kids. Completely different. And all that. You know, I don't think his mentality is right. Robert Garcia is a good <laughs> trainer. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's going to be able to fix what's going on with AJ. Now, you love AJ. so You said he was the greatest fight? at one time. The greatest. I don't believe everybody heard your prediction. Can we get a little? Usyk okay. dominates him in 12. <laughs> you Can you hear that, Jim? Okay. You went around and around and around. No, I didn't um, go around at all. And around. Um, <laughs> listen. Oh, uh, here um, he goes. You're, you're talking about two future Hall of Famers. You're talking about guys who both got gold in the Olympics. You're talking, about, chase. you're talking about <laughs> one guy who is much better than the Vander Holyfield. Who? Who? Usyk. Oh, and, oh um, Vander Holyfield. <laughs> so now, you got to find a way to slander a Hall think, of Famer. I Go think ahead. it's going to be a great fight August 20th. Um, I think I would have to side, when you got two legends, I'm going to have to side with the bigger man. I'm going to go with AJ uh, to win. Um, the rematching and get his championship. Back. Now Luther is good with him physically, but he worries about him mentally. Are you? What are you concerned about? He most? thinks he's well, a gangster now. Well, Luther, Luther don't know anything past Brooklyn. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, this guy's a different well, country. AJ, AJ where they, thinks he's where Larry Hoover now. He's from a civilized country <laughs> where you know what I mean. You know they they are they're you know when you lose. Um, just look at the soccer players. When you lose, you shake hands. Oh, they fall, whatnot. they go off you know, on stretchers, too. You don't have to be like um, a high school here, Clarendon Claren High School, oh. and um, <laughs> beat, beat up the guys because they lost the state championship to one year. Wow. So you can be a gentleman and, 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 and still lose. It doesn't mean that you, you're less of a competitor than somebody else. It's just the way you were raised. Now, I'm again with Luther as far What's as the game again? plan. Okay, hey. with the game plan, before you get to your prediction. Well, you did right, predict AJ, right. right. So, uh, I'm with Luther. Is it a knockout? Is it a decision? What, what Would you decision? tell Mark McGuire to, to go steal bases? No, you tell him to hit home runs, right? Now, there's some guys who can do both. Reggie in his day could do both. Ricky Henderson could do both. There's Bonds, obviously. Parker, guys, they're great. But would you do what uh, Luther said, which I agree with because it was done. When he fought Klitschko, who is a banger, a hell of a lot more banger, obviously, than Usyk. Right. Okay, if you took Klitschko's punches and got up, you could get good through Usyk. Walk through him. I don't respect your power, Usyk. Go in there and dominate him. Like, better be a as soon as the bell rang, what I say? Went after him like a tank. Yeah. Would you do that, or would you box him? What would you do? Well, who walked through Evander Holyfield? This guy's better than Evander. No, who is well, better? No, he's not. Nobody walked through Evander. It's not Jim close. Stop. No, honestly, not, I respect Usyk. Can, I respect Usyk. generalize greatness. Well, that's, that's got nothing to do with it. Okay, who, who on Usyk's record is better than Mike Tyson? Nobody. Or Lennox Lewis. Or Lennox Lewis. Or Riddick Bowe. Riddick Bowe. Come on. 
Well, in my George opinion, Foreman. George Foreman. Larry I'm entitled Holmes. to, Jim, I'm entitled you're, to you're, my you're opinion. You're always wrong. Well, well, I, I mean, wrong. Wrong. Come which on. one of those guys got a gold medal in the Olympics? That's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, guys. We're talking about pro. We're not talking about their amateur record. You had Floyd Patterson, gold medal. Ray Mancini. Ray Mancini. Ray Mancini have a gold medal? No. Uh, Did Vinny Pazins have a gold medal? Me, no. Did Mike me, Tyson have a gold medal? Let me start medal? all over again. Floyd Patterson, gold medal. Muhammad Ali, gold right? medal. Mancini, Joe Frazier, gold medal. George Foreman, gold medal. That was 16 years of greatness. Can I ask you a question, Luther? And for the heavyweight Luther, division. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Did Ray Mancini get a gold medal? Is he a heavyweight? Okay. Did Rocky Marciano get a gold medal? We're talking heavyweights right now. We're talking, and Rocky boxed for six months for he. Fight for the Olympic well, trial. Well, but the gold so, has not, I'm no. Saying, it has. We're, we're it, talking pro. Uh, we're now, talking there's pro. There's 16 Jim. years I gave you. 16 years. We're talking. How does that translate? How does that translate? Oh, Hall of Famer. No, you guys saying it don't make a difference in heavyweights. It makes a lot did, of did difference. Did Dwayne Bobick have a good amateur career? Great. Uh, amateur and what career. happened in the pro? He. Uh, yeah, how about Stevenson? How would to let fellow? He wasn't Stevenson, allowed to fight. How would he have done in your opinion? I think he'd, he'd have done well. Everybody. He'd have I think everybody. he'd have done not so, Muhammad, but he would have beat I mean, everybody. You guys in that going division. to Dwayne? We don't know. We you, don't know. I gave you 16 years of greatness. Jim. I'm all, uh, well. So what I'm saying <laughs> is, what I'm saying is, you can't say right. he's going to walk through a legendary fighter like Usyk. I legendary. think you can win a fight legendary. on the jet. Not legendary yet. Usyk. I think he's got a, he's in had a nice opinion, career. But to well, compare him with Evander Holyfield, no, he's better than Holyfield. Evander to me, I've seen them both fight. He's better than Holyfield. On his resume, what, what makes him better? You're just going by what? Just because he, he got a goal? Pardon me? On his resume. No, he don't have 10 losses. And uh, I but, but, but look who he fought, fought though. I look who he fought. James Tony wouldn't beat this guy. <laughs> but, but James Tony was hell. Was I'm just saying. I'm not trying to damn career. Holyfield in my opinion. Like, for me, Dusik I don't count. Better. I know it's on the record, but for yeah. me, I don't let think it's possible. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. The guys in the 70s or 80s, how many of them fought a Russian or a Cuban? None. They couldn't fight. They couldn't talk. Well, it's not their fault. Not, so this, this, guy, this guy That here. was the better era. All right, Jim. Okay. Is it going to be a knockout or a decision, in your opinion? I think it will be a decision. That means he thinks he's going to lose. That uh -huh. means you're not totally sure he's going to win what are you it. What you talking about? You can't. You, you, you go in saying Holyfield's going to get knocked out? Holyfield? No, legend. We're talking I'm, about AJ. Usyk, Usyk, stay, I'm, we're stay talking up. about Usyk. It's hard Usyk. to knock out a <laughs> What's his name? Usyk, Usyk. Benavidez. Benavidez. Can, can now, I think it'll go the distance. Both guys I don't, have big holes. Well, yeah, and Usyk will win. The only way AJ's going to win is a knockout. AJ needs to go the, in there trying to knock him out. When you're that big, why the who hell, like you said? Jab? Didn't Haney what? win by jab? Yeah, but Devin that, Haney, Haney had a fight great by jab. He's not going to outbox this guy. He has to bully He's got the and jab of, the of Haney? Guy. He's got the jab When's of Haney? When's the last time somebody knocked out Usyk? He's, he was coming when, up. When, he's, when? A, he's a blown no, up no, no, cruiserweight. No, no, no. You no, got to punish him. Can you answer my question first? I'm telling When's you, he's not, I'm telling you he's not going to beat him boxing. His chance is to knock him out because he's not a oh, great everybody. boxer. That's he's good not a great boxer. He's not a great boxer. You're not going to outbox him. If he goes in with All that mindset, he's losing. would agree with that. <laughs> if you Joe knock Joyce, a guy out. Christian Hammer are signed to fight. The juggernaut. Joe Joyce, you guys don't like him. I keep telling you guys. He's a monster. He has a great jab. He busted uh, uh, Dubois' uh, eye Dubois. socket. And Christian Hammer is just a journeyman. Opponent. He's going to knock him out in five, six rounds. Okay. You're wrong. Joe Joyce is a juggernaut. You're Your wrong. thoughts on the fight? Uh, well, first of all, um, I think it's a shame for a 37-year-old like Joe Joyce um, <clears throat> messing around with uh, Christian Hammer, who, Hammer, who's basically a journeyman. You know what I mean? Now, is this is a guy, I don't think Joe Joyce, I'm gonna get him in a I don't think Joe Joyce is going to knock out Hammer. Hammer went the distance with um, Tony Yoka, Luis Ortiz, uh, Ellis Yoka. Provecchian, and Frank Sanchez. You guys didn't two like overrated, that. Two overrated <laughs> heavyweights on your list, by the way. Let me ask you a question. Tony what do you Yoka always say Sanchez. about fighters? In the 70s, 80s, not, they fought who was available. Yeah, I right? Okay, he's that. fighting who's available. That. I okay. agree with that. But, I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, I agree with that. But still, at 37 years old, I think that it's time to make a move. I agree with um, that, too. He's trying to make top, a move. Top five, he should be fighting. Top six guys. Well, I, I think pretty soon he'll be 40, and then what? No, you're right. People uh, said, oh, he, he finally got a shot. You're a thousand percent right. They tried to age him out. Because they were talking about 
uh, better opponents. What happened to that? The Jewish turn. There was talk down. about him. Wilder. There was talk about what was the other one? Uh, Wilder. Uh, Ortiz. 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 Which would have been a nice fight. Now Ortiz is fighting, uh, which Andy we can get to. Yeah, we'll slide in How about that one guy that you like? Why ain't him and Joe Joyce fighting? Who? The, the guy that you like, Hell Sir, for the Anderson? Oh, Jamal Big Baby Anderson? No, no, no uh, Herkovic. Herkovic. Yeah, he's another one. Well, These no, guys got listen, a fight. Listen, guys, he I'm just, just had his father just passed. Can a man grieve? Well, wait a minute. We, can a man how grieve? How many fathers he got? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You going to tell a man how long he can yes, grieve? Yes, I am. If you're a professional. Oh, you're insensitive. I mean, Listen, take as much time as he needs. When he come back, I feel bad for his next opponent. Yeah, start at the Philip Herkovich. Huey Fury is injured. Game. No fight with Michael Bynum. Uh, I will no move on Fury's. from that. Uh, Luis, Ortiz, Luis Ortiz versus Andrew Reeves are fighting. Uh, well, they are going to be fighting. Forever. Your, your thoughts on <laughs> Luis Ortiz fighting Andrew Reeves? Uncle Ortiz, you know I love this guy. It's a shame. Everybody, especially AJ, aged this man out. Fury wouldn't fight him. Only guy who had the guts to fight him was Deontay Wilder. Twice. His only two <clears throat> losses. Um, I, I see him, old as he is, I see him getting Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz was having some weight issues. He didn't look great against his last opponent. Got dropped. Ariola. Yeah, Chris Ariola. That was an exciting fight, but he got dropped. And who I can hit shot. harder? Ortiz. I think Ortiz could take him out of here. I'm going with Luis and, and I'm going to say this real quick. Ortiz, with you a thousand percent, Ortiz's footwork wasn't as bad as people said, oh, in leg, my opinion. His legs, against look kinda, Martin. his legs look kind of shaky against Charles Martin, those first yeah. ones. I've never seen but, him look that I, bad. I like, but he fought Wilder twice. So. I, I like – Ruiz isn't going to knock him out. Right. But and he does I think, have those fast hands, Ruiz. But yeah. I, I don't know if he could stand up I to I like Ortiz, Ortiz in this power. fight. Your thoughts on the fight? Uh, we'll obviously well, cover it again. First of all, you guys know me. If you're a current fighter and you're not signed, I don't talk fantasy fights. Until they sign, I will not give my opinion. It is signed. They just haven't announced the date yet. Where is it? Close to being signed. It's signed. They haven't announced when this summer is going to take place. I said close to being signed. Okay, but it's been signed, Jim. It's been signed. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Um, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with uh, Lewis Ortiz. Wow! Um, Fine. Especially right. I'm hoping that they ban his children from coming. Oh, no. I, I don't want to see no more tears. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was at a chick movie. Everybody crying <laughs> in the theater, but. Yeah. It was like every time he would get knocked out, they flashed to his daughter crying. I know. I know. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, it was, it, Edgar Berlinga suspended. Six months and ten thousand dollars. Why enough. is it not that enough. Mike Tyson? First of all, six months he wasn't going to fight anyway. Right. Why is so you were not suspended basically? <laughs> right. Why is it Mike Look Tyson? Ah, uh, pulled him in to get a bite. It was and a bigger deal. They tried to get to that ear. Yeah, it was a bigger oh, deal. Oh my goodness. Tyson, they really got him. Why is it such a small? In my opinion, Lutheran Jim, I don't think this is a much of a it's not, fine at all. It's not. It, ten it's grand. A slap on the wrist. No money, really. Six months he'll, to zero. He'll blow ten grand at a club somewhere. Right. And in six months, he wasn't going to fight for seven months anyway. It's just because the opponent, it was a bigger stage when Tyson bit uh, Holyfield. Yeah, it, it's a joke. He should have been suspended at least a year. I'm with you. But You're... certain guys, they suspend forever, like Big Baby Miller, and other guys, they give him slaps on the wrist. Right. Your thoughts on the suspension, good well, or bad? I have no problem with the suspension or the of six bite. months. You don't, you don't have a problem <laughs> with the fine. Or the fine at $10,000. Oh, that's nothing. I think they should have took another step and for six months made him live in Puerto Rico, see how much he liked it. You know, he always purping like he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> he is Puerto Rican. Yeah, Rican, he was Jill. born in this country. <laughs> they go over like there for six months. Jill. I bet you he won't oh, bite nobody oh, no more. Jill, <laughs> this is why, man, can't take you Luther, nowhere. you man. broke the news to me yesterday because I didn't know. Tyson Fury, it's all yours. Man, what can we say? He was banned in the U UK for cheating, steroids. Now he's banned from coming to the USA. This this guy, all this hype for a guy who's cheated, who's lied, who hasn't given us the big fights. I'm not a Tyson Fury fan. I don't get all the hype, and I think there's more to come out. You know, De uh, Kenahan, we know they're looking for him. He has a lot of history, cheating fights, and everything else. I think there's something else about to drop, and I think Deontay Wilder may have a point. And I don't think that uh, it's a big deal to Tyson Fury because, as you always said, there's a bigger Area other than the United States. Yeah, he can he, fight for a zillion dollars. He was else. trying. He was trying to come over here. He has a yeah. house here. Yeah. He can't go because he deals with mob bosses and all these guys.
Jim, your thoughts on Fury? Well, who was the guy? I, I don't even, I'm not familiar with the guy. Kenan, he's a who, mob boss from the UK who's hiding in Saudi Arabia right now because they're looking for him. Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize. That, I sent you the that, article, but you don't, don't read articles. You don't, you don't read articles. No, that I mean, I yeah, you. I'm not going to read that. Yeah, of course. But, um, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Uh, you I, and Floyd won't I, read I that. thought it was um, really hypocritical oh. of this country for doing that, you know, with Tyson Fury, but. Uh, yeah, rules no are criminals. Rules, rules right. are rules. And like, like Claudio said, that ain't hurting him. Uh, uh, quickly, you, you had mentioned uh, Carissa Shields. Uh, yeah. An honor she just received. Yeah, she just had a street named after her. We see the picture. How far she is it from Jim's house? house? Right. Look Please at the tell me Clarissa she ain't got Shields blue street. hair. Please tell me they ain't blue First hair. First of all, that's disrespectful. You know why she wears her hair blue? I don't know. Because Please of the water me. in Flint, Michigan. They've had water that was Well, that's a weave. It ain't her that's hair. Blue. That's a weave. I don't care what it is. If it's in her hair, it's her hair. They ain't got no dark weaves because of the water. It's blue because <laughs> of the wet of the water, Jim. Clean water in Flint, Give Michigan. Give that horse back his hair. Oh. <laughs> Jim, your thoughts on this? And how far is it from Jim's house? <laughs> how mad would you be if they named your street? Chris and Jim, would you move? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I would name a street after Jim. I would move. Right. Oh, okay, well, we're going to go to our next segment. It will be uh, top 10 light heavyweights today. Lightweights. Uh, yes, lightweights. Did I, did I mess up again? No, yeah, you're right. Lightweights? Okay. Lightweights. All right, Luther. You got sorry. Canelo on your mind. Uh, do I, I don't even have money. Go ahead, I'm uh, going Luther. from 10, and I'm going just 10. I'm not, not going to do B, 10 A C. and all that. I got 10. Go. 10 is Frank Martin. This guy's fighting this weekend. Very exciting. He just started working with Derrick James. Nobody wants to see that crap. Oh, uh, okay. Rolly right. Ramirez, number nine. Um, he did pretty well for five, six rounds against Tank and then got caught. Number eight, I have Fortuna. He's fighting Ryan Garcia. Fortuna's another guy uh, moving up from 130 pounds. Um, you know, solid guy. He gets dirty. He's going to make it rough for Ryan Garcia. And then I have uh, number seven, Ryan Garcia. You know, the Instagram star, loves taking pictures. He's in Gatorade commercials. Um, but he can fight. He can fight. You're always in the mirror with a picture <laughs> and camera. With the abs. And then with the abs out. Number six, Jojo Diaz. He took a beating from uh, Devin Haney and uh, also uh, Gary Russell. Those are the only two guys who beat right. him. Very underrated. Number five, I have the lion crying George Cambosis. He activated his rematch. <laughs> He wants to get beat another 12 rounds. That's yeah. fine. His last big payday. Number four, I had the pit bull, Isaac Cruz. People mm. talked about Tank when he fought him. Isaac Cruz is the real deal. Little guy, a lot of heart. Number three, I do have uh, Vasily Lomachenko. You know, we know he's over in the Ukraine fighting for his country. We'll see if he comes back. I still have him number three. Number two. Can't wait. Oh, right. Javante right. Tank Davis. You know I love this guy, man. Power in both hands. What separates him from everybody else? He's the strongest puncher. He has one punch power. He has combinations. He's a beast. He almost <clears throat> destroyed and killed Leo Santa Cruz with that uppercut. And number one, undisputed. I told you guys I was on him way before you guys knew yep. about him. 23 years old. He's the youngest undisputed <clears throat> champ in boxing, Devin Haney. Devin the Dream Haney has reached his dream. Him and his dad yelling in the background. Number one light heavyweight. Before I get to you, let me ask you a question. If Haney Lomachenko fight, if Haney Tank Davis fights, would it be a, a bigger story as Leonard Hagler, Leonard Hearns, no. all that? No. Not yet. Not yet. Hank, Not ever. I mean, Haney and Tank will be a big deal. Haney and Loma will be a big deal. But those guys were legends at the time. Okay. I don't think these guys are legends because they're not fighting each other yet. Their names could be bigger if we got those big fights. They'd be big fights, but not, not legendary like that. Like that. Oh, hey, Jim, hey, top ten light heavy. Uh, just ten, light Jim. Yeah, can we get ten? The Olympics helped that legendary sugar ring. But anyhow, you can tell Luther just uh, wrote it down before the show. Uh -oh. um, number ten C. Oh, God. The, the <laughs> Ukraine. We only got five the minutes, Ukraine Jim. Ukraine pit bull from Pittsburgh. What's his name? Oh, uh. I didn't tell him. You, know sure you don't you know even have his name I, down. I, I, another guy, another guy that hates, um, you know, um, I Jim, how you Roy, to you another guy that hates name. Roy Jones and the rest of the Russian citizens. Can you say the how names? About, how about Tim B, Jermaine Ortiz? You forgot that one, Lou. How about <clears> number 10? I'm with you on Frank Martin. How about number nine? I can't believe you missed one. this one, a black guy named Keyshawn <laughs> Davis. 
Uh, number eight, Roly Roly Ramirez. <laughs> How about <laughs> Rome? <laughs> Same thing. Same thing, You're good. You're good. We're going to get you some, about, We're going to get him some speech classes or some reading. About, <laughs> how about 7B? William Zapeda. Who? William Zapeda. Zapeda. I, I noticed there's a Zapeda in Mike, Teas uh, Mike Teason. Is there a Mike Teason? Go how, how about 7B? Oh, God. Not, Tashi, Nakatani? <laughs> yeah, Nakatani? Yeah. I like oh, him. That bum. I like him. That how about, how about, how about, how about 6B? How about 6B? George Cambosis. How about 6A? Isaac Cruz. How about number five in sliding? Uh, Tank Davis. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What do you number have to say? Five? Number five in sliding. Oh, throw the oh list away. God. Throw that number, whole book away. Number four, and he's moving up, is Devin Haney. How about number four. three? Uh, Lomo, number two, Tefilo Lopez. He's yeah, moving Fimo. up to one for Tia Fimo. Fimo. Tia Fimo. Number, Fimo. Number, Fimo. number one, B, <laughs> Ryan Garcia. Oh. And the greatest of all time, Ali son, Miguel Rivera. You got him number one. Number, number one. one. Who, number one. Who's on his resume, he looked like He looked like Ali. Just, right like just Ali. because he got he Ali on his shorts don't mean you got to make him the greatest, We're going to take a pause because oh we're going to get we're gonna get a doctor. And you ever see those people? They're a doctor in the house. How the hell do you have that, him one? Throw that book in the trash. <laughs> Rivera, number one? Number one. Are you, are you serious? In my opinion. We got to get him checked in after the show. Wow. I don't know nobody you can beat him. Oh. <laughs> well, he ain't Haney, nobody. Lomachenko, Davis, they all can beat him. All right. <laughs> 10B. <laughs> I'm going to put in, or 10, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with Frank Martin. Rivera. Uh, Rolly Romero, because he's still young, and I'm, I'm going to go him. Uh, number nine, even though he's young, but I'm a little bit biased, I'm going to uh, go with Jermaine Ortiz. Mm. Number eight, Joseph Diaz, Jojo Diaz, because he's tough. Uh, seven, I still think Isaac Cruz is going to, Make some noise in that division. He ain't gonna win nothing big, but he's, he's look at people. Ooh. Cambosis, disappointed in him, uh, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's gonna turn it up his next fight. He's gonna lose to Haney, mm -hmm. but I All think he hopefully has a better tattoo. showing. But I don't have him at six. He'll just get Five, another tattoo. Ryan, yeah, Ryan Garcia. <clears throat> I, he's turning it up a little bit, like I said in other shows. If he starts to fight consistently, Luther, he's going to climb the ladder. Get that crown off your Number head, four, right? I'm going to go with uh, Talif Amino uh, <laughs> Lopez. He's moving to 140, guys. But if he stays, not, if he stays. Staying, he can't make it. This is where I had a problem uh, between Lomachenko and Davis. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with them. I, I, I can't separate the two. But number one is somebody who, like I said, I was impressed with him before. Luther kept on, and I'm really impressed with not only his in-ring skills, but his maturity at age 23 to go into another land and do what he did. Yes, another I was, country. Remember, I was really, I was, I was uh, really happy with Lomachenko did a few fights ago, mm -hmm. and very excited. Tank Davis, what this young man did, big Can I time. Ask you guys one Haney. question. Yes, sir. What would you rate Stevenson if he moved up to 135? Well, I said Stevenson's going to retire and defeated, but I wouldn't. If he goes I 135, agree. I agree with that. I'd stay where he's at. But man, it'd be a hell of a fight between like him and Haney. Hey, him and Haney. Oh him my and Tank, Tank. Him and Loma. Oh my where God. Would you, where would you rank him, Mus? Uh, he'd be in the top uh, three. Yeah. But well, we don't. We don't four, know. We don't know yeah. where. You know. We haven't seen him. But I'd have him right he's now. Top three because he's that special. But As Haney I told right you now guys to me about Shakur before. Yes, you did. Haney. I, I got him right below Ali. Anyway, but but real quick, uh, Haney just impressed the hell out of me in the ring and uh, mentally. Okay, our popular segment, the Boxing Mailbag at Yahoo.com. Please continue to send your great uh, comments and emails to us. Okay, uh, this is a comment. Big Puncher from Ontario. Better career. He's going to ask us a question. Better career, Canadian. He's Canadian. George Chavallo or Donnie Lalonde? Donnie. Donnie. I George say Donnie. Chavallo. He was never a champion. Uh, but I, I also have to say, uh, Donnie Lalonde, what, what's, what's uh, Shavala known for, you know, losing to Ali? He was tough. He was, tough. He was, he was, losing, losing. He was, he was he's a, a legend fighter. out there. He was a great fighter. And very inspirational speaker. Yeah. had a lot of tough things happen to him, but there's a guy who kept fighting. Donnie Lalonde, obviously a friend of the show or brother to the show, former world champion. Uh, love Donnie, and he will be a guest on. Jerry yes. Cooney, we will match schedules soon. He will be on. <laughs> So we promise. But Big Puncher, thank you. We always Thanks, appreciate Big great Puncher. comments. As always, we hope you enjoy our show as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. We will get him checked. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>